God, dog. All I got to say is, God, dog. Damn. <laughs> LDW MMAC. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Man, listen. Listen. What did I tell y'all? What did I tell y'all? I told y'all everything you needed to know about Carolina Kovac. I tried to tell y'all what, what what the deal was. Listen, man. I don't even want to put you guys on a cliffhanger if you ain't seen the fight. There was an ass whooping that happened in this fight. There's an ass whooping that happened in this fight. Now we would suspect that this ass whooping belonged to one Alexa Grasso, but no, it didn't. The lone wolf. Alexa Grazo the Wolf did not receive an ass whooping. It was yours truly, Carolina Kovacavich. That's who received, who's at the hand, the end of an ass whooping tonight. Look, man, Carolina Kovacavich, I tried to tell y'all that after that Jessica and Drive fight, I said, this is not the same Carolina. I said, this Carolina is very, very beatable. I mean, <laughs> this is not the same Carolina, man. That knockout at the hands of Jessica and Drive, that knockout took like it, it aged Carolina by 10 years okay Carolina looked like she was 40 40 48 49 50 years old in there Alexa Grazo was jabbing at the devil overhand writing right crossing at the damn death Carolina Kovacavich had zero head movement man I mean and it's like she would try to put pressure on Alexa Grazo she tried to but here go the thing and she was putting pressure there were no punches coming out Carolina Kovacavich was a Polish punching bag. That's what she was. She was the Polish punching bag. And, and, and damn, I'm like, okay, what the hell is Carolina doing? What is she doing? I mean, man, you know, she didn't use any kind of techniques in cutting off the octagon. Man, she didn't even try to get in, in on the inside with a jab. She didn't do anything. It's like she kept running in with this head first mentality to try to get a clinch and every time she tried it, Carolina got pieced up and Carolina damn near got knocked out in this fight. She damn near got knocked out, man. Listen, man, this style that this girl used just come in and just try to be the toughest person on the planet, it don't work, okay? It's not working and it didn't work for Grazo. It didn't work for Andrade, okay? It didn't work for Michelle Waterhead Waterson. It didn't, it doesn't work. But Carolina goes in and I like Carolina. Don't get it wrong, but it's like, okay, damn. You know, I mean, you done lost, what, your last two fights, okay? I mean, you got put to sleep. You would think that, you know, we make some adjustments. No. This girl need to fire her whole team, man. Carolina, look, and I ain't taking nothing away from Grazo. Y'all know I'm a Grazo fan. I was pulling for Grazo in this fight, and I picked Grazo to win the fight, and I kept telling people that this ain't the same Carolina. I think Grazo can get the job done. And sure and whole, lo and behold, Grazo got that job done. Grazo got it done. I mean, everything Carolina tried to do, it just didn't work. And then in round three, Carolina tried to go for a takedown, and that didn't work. It's like, okay, you ain't trying to take down all fight. Alexa Grazo saw that coming. And you know what? And Carolina, it's almost like she's not even comfortable taking nobody down anyway. So it's like Carolina has really now, you know, I mean, she's one-dimensional. She real one-dimensional now. Jessica Andrade, you know, she used to be a tough competitor. We all knew that Carolina never really had the skill sets, but see, Carolina brought a tough fight, and she kept the fight. You know, Carolina used to stay in people's asses. It's like now, man, this 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 is a shell of her former self. And guys, we got one Jessica Andrade to thank for this. Okay, guys, Jessica Andrade done made Carolina beatable to the whole division. She had that knockout. Gave Carolina Kovacavich 10 damn years because she looked like she was 50. I swear to God, she looked like she was about 50 years old. And I said, man, look, I don't know. I think Carolina done. Guys, I think Carolina Kovacavich is done. Unless this girl changed camps, she got to do something. Okay, Carolina Kovacavich got to do something because, man, I can't see her. And I see Carolina getting knocked out again. Okay, like real talk. I see Carolina Kovacavich getting her ass knocked out again if something don't change okay something got to change in this girl camp it's just not good guys this ain't good i don't even know i mean guys you know carolina kovacavich to me today wasn't even average she wasn't even average today man she was like really below average in her striking and it's like she ain't even want to commit to no punches 
and the punches that she did throw they were thrown with no conviction and you know the jab where was a jab it was non-existent I know this is gonna trigger a lot of people it's gonna trigger it's gonna trigger a lot of people from Poland look it is what it is okay don't come on here saying I'm hating on her you know because she's from Poland or don't come on here and hating because you know she white don't come on here and saying that I'm telling y'all the truth I don't know if you if you think that anything I said is wrong I don't know what fight that you're looking at I don't know what fight you could be looking at Carolina Kovacavich has digressed in skill set she digressed I said God how, I, you know Alexa Grazo just put an ass whooping on this girl I'm talking about boy Grazo handed out a, a, a major ass whooping today you know what and Carolina Kovacavich man I'm making a video of my all-time top 10 women who can take the best ass whoopings in the UFC. I, I think I got Carolina Kova Cavage right now at number one. I got her number one. This damn girl can take an ass whooping like no other. God, dog. God. Like, and you know, man, I don't feel bad for Carolina right now. I don't feel bad because you know you got these holes in your game. You know you got knocked out. You know it's time. It's time for it's time for some coaches. It's time for somebody to teach you some head movement. We got to make a change. And I'm not a huge fan of a person changing a coach because they lose. I'm not a fan of that. But okay, you get knocked out. You get beat by Michelle Waterson. And now Grazo. It's time for a change. It's time for Carolina to make a change. You guys tell me what you think. I'm done.